Egzamin maturalny z języka angielskiego. Poziom podstawowy. Usłyszysz dwukrotnie teksty do zadań od pierwszego do trzeciego. Przed wysłuchaniem każdego tekstu usłyszysz dźwięk. W nagraniu przewidziane są przerwy na zapoznanie się z poleceniami oraz treścią zadań sygnalizowane dźwiękiem. Rozwiązuj poszczególne zadania w trakcie słuchania nagrań oraz w czasie przerw po ich wysłuchaniu. Zadanie pierwsze. Przeczytaj polecenie i zapoznaj się z treścią zadania. My guest today is the famous food journalist Alistair Brooks. Alistair, for the last three years you've been writing about restaurants all over the world. Can you say which restaurant you find the most extraordinary? Recently I had a great experience in an unusual place, but it's not for people who are afraid of heights. What do you mean? Is it on the top of a skyscraper? Wrong. The restaurant called Dinner in the Sky serves food at a table 164 feet above the ground. The table, placed on a special platform, is lifted high in the air by a crane. That's incredible. Where is it? When I was there, it was above the City of London, but I've heard the restaurant offers its guests an unforgettable experience in many parts of the world. When did the idea of such a restaurant start? It started in Belgium in 2006. And since then, dinners, weddings, business meetings and even piano concerts have been organised in 45 countries. How many people can enjoy a meal at the Sky High table? The table can sit 22 guests. They are usually served by three staff members, a chef, a waiter and an entertainer, for example a singer or some other performer. Their job is to make sure that the guests enjoy both the meal and a fantastic atmosphere. What safety measures are there on the platform? Well, every guest is seated in a chair and strapped in with a safety belt. You are not allowed to open the safety belts or even touch them at any time while the table is up in the air. Well, I think I'll have to try it. Wysłuchaj nagrania jeszcze raz. My guest today is the famous food journalist Alistair Brooks. Alistair, for the last three years you've been writing about restaurants all over the world. Can you say which restaurant you find the most extraordinary? Recently I had a great experience in an unusual place, but it's not for people who are afraid of heights. What do you mean? Is it on the top of a skyscraper? Wrong. The restaurant called Dinner in the Sky serves food at a table 164 feet above the ground. The table, placed on a special platform, is lifted high in the air by a crane. That's incredible. Where is it? When I was there, it was above the City of London, but I've heard the restaurant offers its guests an unforgettable experience in many parts of the world. When did the idea of such a restaurant start? It started in Belgium in 2006. And since then, dinners, weddings, business meetings and even piano concerts have been organised in 45 countries. How many people can enjoy a meal at the Sky High table? The table can sit 22 guests. They are usually served by three staff members, a chef, a waiter and an entertainer, for example a singer or some other performer. Their job is to make sure that the guests enjoy both the meal and a fantastic atmosphere. What safety measures are there on the platform? Well, every guest is seated in a chair and strapped in with a safety belt. You are not allowed to open the safety belts or even touch them at any time while the table is up in the air. Well, I think I'll have to try it.
Zadanie drugie. Przeczytaj polecenie i zapoznaj się z treścią zadania. Speaker 1. Remember that it's not enough just to wear a suit when you're meeting your future employer. You have to wear it with a smile. The latest studies suggest that when we see smiling people, we believe they are friendly, confident and reliable. Sounds like a perfect employee, right? So next time you're answering potential employer's questions, make sure you wear a beautiful smile. Speaker 2. In the 1980s, online bulletin boards became popular among college students and staff. A lot of posts were intended as humorous, but there were always a few people who didn't get the joke and took the message seriously. One day, a research professor of computer science, Scott Falman, combined three punctuation marks to produce a graphic sign which we know today as a smiley, to show that something is intended as a joke. Soon, the idea became popular all over the world. Speaker 3 Some time ago I moved to a new school. I felt lonely because none of the kids wanted to talk to me. One day, on my way to school, a stranger looked at me and smiled. The smile made me believe that life would get better. I said to myself I'd always smile at people. I just wish we all did the same. A smile can make our world a nicer place. Speaker 4 I was excited to see the film Mona Lisa's Smile. It is set at Wellesley College, which is where I used to study. However, after watching it, I must say that it was very far from my own experience of studying at the college. I wonder what's the point of making such a film today? To suggest how far we've come from the 1950s? I can't understand those who say it's a masterpiece. I didn't enjoy it at all. Wysłuchaj nagrania jeszcze raz. Speaker 1. Remember that it's not enough just to wear a suit when you're meeting your future employer. You have to wear it with a smile. The latest studies suggest that when we see smiling people, we believe they are friendly, confident and reliable. Sounds like a perfect employee, right? So next time you're answering potential employer's questions, make sure you wear a beautiful smile. Speaker 2. In the 1980s, online bulletin boards became popular among college students and staff. A lot of posts were intended as humorous, but there were always a few people who didn't get the joke and took the message seriously. One day, a research professor of computer science, Scott Falman, combined three punctuation marks to produce a graphic sign which we know today as a smiley, to show that something is intended as a joke. Soon, the idea became popular all over the world. Speaker 3 Some time ago I moved to a new school. I felt lonely because none of the kids wanted to talk to me. One day, on my way to school, a stranger looked at me and smiled. The smile made me believe that life would get better. I said to myself I'd always smile at people. I just wish we all did the same. A smile can make our world a nicer place.
speaker for? I was excited to see the film Mona Lisa Smile. It is set at Wellesley College, which is where I used to study. However, after watching it, I must say that it was very far from my own experience of studying at the college. I wonder what's the point of making such a film today? To suggest how far we've come from the 1950s? I can't understand those who say it's a masterpiece. I didn't enjoy it at all. Zadanie trzecie. Przeczytaj polecenie i zapoznaj się z treścią zadania. One. Look at my face. I've got all these red spots after shaving and it really hurts. Our prom is in a couple of days. Don't worry. An aspirin should help. I've got some at home. How often do I need to take it? Twice a day, but don't swallow it. Put two aspirin tablets in one teaspoon of warm water. And then drink it, right? Not really. You rub this mixture onto the spots and leave it on for ten minutes. Then wash it off with warm water. Are you sure it's going to work? Well, it worked for my brother. Wysłuchaj nagrania jeszcze raz. Look at my face. I've got all these red spots after shaving and it really hurts. Our prom is in a couple of days. Don't worry. An aspirin should help. I've got some at home. How often do I need to take it? Twice a day, but don't swallow it. Put two aspirin tablets in one teaspoon of warm water. And then drink it, right? Not really. You rub this mixture onto the spots and leave it on for ten minutes. Then wash it off with warm water. Are you sure it's going to work? Well, it worked for my brother. Two. I met Jane Brown today. Really? Where? In the shopping centre. Has she changed? Actually, at first I didn't know it was Jane. But when she said, hi Jack, I remembered her voice. She's no longer slim, but she still dresses fashionably. When I think of her, I always picture her pink glasses. Does she still wear them? Of course not. They're not in fashion anymore. Now she wears black frames. She's also cut her curly hair and dyed it black. Wysłuchaj nagrania jeszcze raz. I met Jane Brown today. Really? Where? In the shopping centre. Has she changed? Actually, at first I didn't know it was Jane. But when she said, hi Jack... I remembered her voice. She's no longer slim, but she still dresses fashionably. When I think of her, I always picture her pink glasses. Does she still wear them? Of course not. They're not in fashion anymore. Now she wears black frames. She's also cut her curly hair and dyed it black.
3. The Fame Lab tries to make science easy for everyone by encouraging the participants to present simple and clear demonstrations of scientific problems. When I heard that they were organising a competition for students, I decided to take part in it. To enter, I needed to upload a short video to YouTube. My film was about bacteria. When I read the comments about my work on the internet, I realised that people got the point I was trying to make in my presentation. I was really proud and excited. In the future, I might start designing exhibitions for science centres. Wysłuchaj nagrania jeszcze raz. The Fame Lab tries to make science easy for everyone by encouraging the participants to present simple and clear demonstrations of scientific problems. When I heard that they were organising a competition for students, I decided to take part in it. To enter, I needed to upload a short video to YouTube. My film was about bacteria. When I read the comments about my work on the internet, I realised that people got the point I was trying to make in my presentation. I was really proud and excited. In the future, I might start designing exhibitions for science centres. Four. Wilburys is celebrating its 40th anniversary with a week-long model home show beginning on Monday. You are all invited from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. each day to view the homes we construct. You'll admire beautiful houses from the outside and you'll also be able to walk around inside our show home. Wilburys is the leader in home construction in the area. We build houses using the most modern materials and the latest technologies to make you fully satisfied with your new home. Wysłuchaj nagrania jeszcze raz. Wilburys is celebrating its 40th anniversary with a week-long model home show beginning on Monday. You are all invited from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. each day to view the homes we construct. You'll admire beautiful houses from the outside and you'll also be able to walk around inside our show home. Wilburys is the leader in home construction in the area. We build houses using the most modern materials and the latest technologies to make you fully satisfied with your new home. Five. Would you believe that ice can be used to make music? Yes, it's possible. Siberian percussionists drum on frozen Lake Baikal. By chance, they found that the one-metre-thick ice has a unique sound. They realised it after a drummer's wife slipped and hit the ice. After her accident, the group of musicians went back to the exact place to record their remarkable concert. Incredible! These beautiful clear sounds are produced by beating the drumsticks on ice. Wysłuchaj nagrania jeszcze raz. Would you believe that ice can be used to make music? Yes, it's possible. Siberian percussionists drum on frozen Lake Baikal. By chance, they found that the one-metre-thick ice has a unique sound. They realised it after a drummer's wife slipped and hit the ice. After her accident, the group of musicians went back to the exact place to record their remarkable concert. Incredible! These beautiful clear sounds are produced by beating the drumsticks on ice. Six. Have you heard about the plan to paint graffiti on that huge building next to the town hall? Mr Jackson, our art teacher, told us about it in class last week. Is it his idea? Actually, the City Council made the decision. 
They want students from our school to paint a mural there. You like painting, so I thought you might be interested. Where can I find Mr. Jackson? I need to ask him all about it. He should be in the staff room. I'm sure he'll tell you all about it. Wysłuchaj nagrania jeszcze raz. Have you heard about the plan to paint graffiti on that huge building next to the town hall? Mr. Jackson, our art teacher, told us about it in class last week. Is it his idea? Actually, the city council made the decision. They want students from our school to paint a mural there. You like painting, so I thought you might be interested. Where can I find Mr. Jackson? I need to ask him all about it. He should be in the staff room. I'm sure he'll tell you all about it. Czas przeznaczony na tę część egzaminu minął.